Hello and welcome to the Hub on CGTN. I'm Wang Guan. Greetings from Belgrade, Serbia. Welcome back to the Balkans. Now, China and Serbia over the years have described each other as ironclad friend, which is, of course, evidenced by numerous projects taking place here in Serbia and in China, of course. So today we'll be taking you to some projects here in Belgrade and other cities in Serbia of China serving cooperation. We'll also be talking to the Chinese ambassador in Serbia to explore this multifaceted and growing friendship. Traveling on the Christmas day. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's pretty unusual. Yeah, it's pretty unusual. We're traveling to Novi Sad. My girlfriend, Yelena, she's from Novi Sad. I'm from Belgrade. So we are just going to visit. Uh, we're going to go to visit her family and to have like a breakfast, or like Christmas breakfast. It's a, it's a thing in Serbia. Now it's only 8.40 and then you can still catch the train, get her home yeah, and yeah. have a breakfast. Yeah, the improvement with railway is excellent. Before this, usually people will avoid tra traveling by train because it would take a longer time. The rails were not as good as the, the rails are now. So now it's really, it's a huge difference, huge difference. Not just the railroad, there are a bunch of bridges that, that have been built by, by uh, Chinese builders. So we pretty much appreciate all the things that you have done for Serbia. And we hope this comp cooperation is going to continue in the future. And that we're going to have even more, like more rails, uh, railroads across Serbia done by Chinese engineer, engineers. And in a way, we have similar values, family, the, the growth, the expansion, work ethics. I think that, that those are kind of things that are pretty similar and that, that kind of bond us in a way. So this is the high speed train that we'll be traveling on today, train number 542, taking us from Belgrade, the capital city of Serbia, all the way to Novi Sad, that is the second largest city in Serbia in the country's north. Previously, the whole journey would take an hour and a half now, with the upgraded track and the new bullet train, only half an hour. Now we're finally on Budapest Belgrade train, the fastest train anywhere in Serbia. Uh, the top speed went from something like 40 kilometers an hour all the way to 200 kilometers an hour. That is phenomenal. It cut travel distance from Budapest in Hungary to Belgrade, Serbia, all the way from eight hours, just three hours. And we're also told that uh, the ticket price was really reasonable. It was just uh, something like 480 Serbian dinar, that is the equivalent of 33 RMB or a little over five dollars I would say. One Serbian feasibility report says that uh, currently it's taking three million passengers, this Budapest Belgrade train. And once it's all completed, once all done and constructed, it will take nine million passengers a year. My aunt, her sister, uh, lives in New Novi Sad. We live in Belgrade. This is my first time going with this train, and my mother is his fourth time. Is uh, yes. for her experience, she says it's very fast and very uh, reliable. Yes, I take it because it's the cheapest way to get to Novi Sad and by far the fastest. Because by auto route, it takes about an hour fifteen with a car and hour forty five with a bus. So it's impossible here. I live close to the station. I just sit to it. It being 30 minutes is the best thing that ever happened to us who have to commute to Novi Sad. I even have friends who now go to faculty in Novi Sad because it's so easy. It takes her less time to get to Novi Sad than me to get across the city. Uh,一秒回到国内的那种感觉,因为感觉只有像在我们国家才比较能够常见,就是那么方便快捷的高铁,然后他们服务也都做得很好,我们刚刚也买了一些咖啡还有水来试一下,然后我们都觉得他们的
啊，所以我我有一个感觉很好。还有一个服务员问你，你想喝咖啡，想喝茶，也很好的，对吗？如果我饿了或者我渴了，我我可以问一下，对吗？我想一一瓶水，然后太好了，我有感觉非常好哈、啊。Arriving at the renovated Novi Sad station, I met Chief Feng Ran, Deputy General Manager for Serbia China Railway International, and I really got to know more about the train line that I was traveling on. 齐总，刚才我们体验的被诺段，其实只是整个匈塞铁路的一部分。是的，这个被诺段呢，是我们匈塞铁路塞尔亚段啊、呃、先开的啊、呃、这个前前两段工程。那么它有个第三段第三段工程，现在正在建设，就是从诺维萨德到这个塞尔亚与匈牙利的边境城市苏博蒂查，嗯、呃，然后最后呢修建到边境。这是整个塞尔维亚段的一个平面的一个示意图。我们现在正在建设的诺苏段呢，总长是一百零八点一公里。嗯。呃，刚才这个您乘坐的这个贝诺段铁路呢，加起来是八十公里。它这个原先这个铁路的时速呢，只有大概三四十公里，而基本上呢被这个公众呢所这个这个遗忘了啊，没有人再乘坐铁路了。那么这个经过铁路经过升级改造之后，重建之后呢，现在铁路的时速达到两百公里每小时。那么又重新啊焕发了这个就是民众对这个铁路的这个一个喜爱这个热情。考虑在当地的这个情况、标准、技术，有哪些困难？我们是怎样克服那些困难的？呃，这里边的困难主要有这个几方面吧。第一个呢，这个铁路呢是要第一要考虑中国高铁的技术和欧欧洲呃铁路标准的一个融合。第二一个呢，就是说如何克服当地的资源建设资源的有限，工期内吧，规定的工期内能够如期的这个完工。啊，这是这个两方面比较主要的困难。实际上，这个匈塞铁路首先被诺段的这个建设成功，以及诺苏段现在这个能够大干快上这个局面，归根结底还是取决于这个两国元首的这个战略引领，两国的这个呃友谊吧和务实合作。And from there, I went on another journey with Chi to the track laying base to find out more secrets about a faster and smooth train. 焊接的一个设备，呃、嗯，那么采用的相当于是车间作业的模式，把五十米的钢轨焊接成两百五十米。呃、嗯，原来赛方呢是用二十五米长的钢轨，啊，或者是用一百一百二十五米长的钢轨呢，在现场用一种比较落后的这个相对的工艺啊，现在现场进行焊，工艺呢比较落后，然后功效也比较低，焊接头越少，那么相当于是这个就是越平稳，因为现场焊接的设备是移动焊机。移动焊接的这个工艺，这个精度各方面的，跟这个是还要有一些差距。这个魔鬼在细节中啊。<笑> the Budapest Belgrade Railway is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of cooperation projects between China and Serbia. In light of the Belt and Road Initiative, more projects are underway to benefit the locals. To learn more about these projects, let's hear from Yang Dong, General Manager of the China Road and Bridge Corporation, or CRBC, Central and Eastern Europe Regional Center. 现在目前承建了塞尔维亚六十五个城市的污水和固体废物一体化处理的项目，当地叫做“清洁塞尔维亚项目”。这个项目规模比较大，覆盖了塞尔维亚三分之一的地域面积和三分之一的人口，嗯，达到了覆盖的人口面积达到二百三十万人。嗯，这个项目建成了以后，它会提升塞尔维亚的污水处理率，污水和固废的这个改造。会使它的整个地下水、土壤都得到这个更好的保护和治理。在这个道路基础设施领域，除了今天早上您乘坐的匈塞高高速铁路由我们和国铁国际联合承担以外，我们还在这做了这个诺维萨德到如马的快速路项目。Regarding the Novi Sad Ram Expressway project that Yang just mentioned, it will serve as a significant transport link and economic corridor for southeastern Europe as a whole. I had a chance to visit Expressway's tunnels, where a lot of construction was going on. Where Melina from CRBC showed us the impressive work that are underway. Welcome. This is our project of Fruška Gora corridor. It's very important here in Serbia. It's not only important for this northern part of uh, Serbia Vojvodina, but the whole Serbia because actually it's going to connect Novi Sad, which is the capital of the province here in the north, Vojvodina. With Roma, Shabat, Slozic, and further with Bosnia, actually Republic of Serbska. So it's very important because there is a lot of traffic going there, and this is going to be—it's not a highway; it's like a fast road, but almost a highway, and uh, it's going to be along 45 kilometers.、Uh, right now, you can see the、uh, the tunnel. We are constructing the longest, what's going to be the longest tunnel in uh, uh, in Serbia. It's going to be like three and five kilometers. 
And this project, uh, beside the tunnel, it also has one really large bridge over Danube River in uh, Novi Sad. Uh, currently, my company, China Road and Bridge Corporation, is actually uh, building two bridges uh, over Danube in Novi Sad. One is the part of this project, and another one is part of the bypass of Novi Sad. This road, first, connects the E70 bridge and the E75 bridge. It's basically the two bridges that connect the two bridges. It's a bridge between 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 the two bridges. 这个输港的这个效率，应该说从它的整体经济性测算，对欧洲这个减碳目标，这些都是非常重要的。But the stories of cross-continental projects are not always as rosy to tell, especially at the start. The different standards and qualifications can raise questions and doubts among the stakeholders and the outsiders. For CRBC, the first Chinese company to work in Serbia, the biggest hurdle was not the construction itself, but to establish a virtuous cycle of trust with the local partners and authorities. Serbia, 毕竟是在欧洲地区，它的很多标准规范直接来源于欧洲欧盟地区，所以原来对我们的都是比较质疑的。你像铁路上面的，就是像钢轨这一款产品，在厂家的配合下，我们在波兰、在德国、荷兰做了大量的耐磨、刚度以及其他的一些特性试验，最后。通过了差不多三年的时间，我们拿到了欧洲的 TSI 这个互联互通的技术，这是一个欧洲的最高的，当然也是通用的标准。CRBC has thus earned a reputation for quality and efficiency by testing construction parts to meet the European standards, and most importantly, completing projects on time and within budget. At the beginning, it was a little bit, you know, harder because uh, the first Chinese construction company working here. So, not so many people believed that the Chinese company could do a project of that scale because it was a larger bridge over the Danube River in Belgrade, the first one built after maybe 50 years. So, you know, at the beginning, uh, it was not so easy to convince everybody that the Chinese company could do something yeah, like that. But once we finished that uh, project and it was completed um, within the um, Within the budget, within the time frame that was uh, that was um, determined by the contract, everybody everybody understood that Chinese companies were really Chinese construction company really had, had this capability. So after that, a lot of other companies also entered the market. We entered Serbia, entered the Nordic market for four years. Our feeling is that our cooperation is getting better and better. Our customers. We have been the顾客，我们的塞尔维亚的，无论是我们的这个政府和我们的一些合作伙伴，对我们中国公司，尤其是对我们的中国的以前相对比较受到质疑或者是这个怀疑的，像我们中国产品，特别是高端的，像我们的中
all around the clock. Our reporters are at home across the globe. From our headquarters in Beijing and production centers in Washington, Nairobi, and London. Stories from across the globe, reaching people across the globe. CGTN. See the difference. Facing the unknown is always difficult. In a world in turmoil, it's easy to lose orientation. But when the storms come, we have to see the possibilities, reinvent, find new opportunities, discover a path forward. CGTN, see the difference. For sure, Chinese and Serbian people have many things in common. These shared vibes create a rock-solid base on which their friendship can stand strong through the tests of time and challenging times. Li Ming, China's ambassador to Serbia, shared his views on the strong and lasting bond between the two peoples. Ambassador Li, welcome to the program. China described Serbia as its ironclad friend.、Uh, you know, Serbia, our bestie. How do you think this ironclad friendship is made? In my personal opinion, has three pillars、uh, of the bilateral cooperation. First of all, of course, is the strategic guidance of bilateral our leaders of both countries.、Um, in the past years, our presidents of the two countries have met for many times and kept a very frequent exchange. Of letters and the correspondence, in the year of 2023, President Xi Jinping and President Vučić have met、uh, during the、uh, International Forum of Belt and Road and、uh, other occasions. And、uh, after the Belt and Road Initiative、uh, International Conference, the Prime Minister of Serbia, Madame Brnabić. Visited China again for the Shanghai World Import Expo, and President Xi met with the Prime Minister Brnabić again in Beijing. Only in one month time, both leaders have met for twice. I think that has showcases the、uh, high-level exchanges. The frequency is very high, and I believe this is the fundamental reason. Of uh, uh, directing our bilateral relationship、uh, from high to high, and、uh, the second pillar is our deep political trust.、Uh, China and Serbia respect each other on the basis of equality, mutual understanding, and、uh, mutual respect. The third pillar is our economic cooperation and、uh, cultural. Links. I remember in 1970s and 80s, Chinese people always、uh, watch the movie、mm. of Serbia and the former Yugoslavia,、mm. and the famous song "Ah,、uh, 朋友再见 Farewell、mm. to our friend," is very popular in China even till now. So uh, uh, we like the civilizations and the culture of each other. In recent decades, our friendship has been reinforced by more、uh, practical cooperation. Chinese companies have helped Serbia to build the first highway, first bridge, and the first high-speed railway in Europe. That has greatly enhanced the livelihood of people of Serbia. For example, the famous railway between Serbia and Hungary.、Uh, The part in Serbia has progressed very well. In the last、uh, less than two years, the passengers of the railway have、uh, increased hugely. Now surpassed six million passengers.、Mm. That even changed the lifestyle of Serbian people. So the three pillars, I believe, is the fundamental reasons 
of China and Serbia, we can become an ironclad friendship. Mm. Ambassador Li, how would you describe the intention of China and the Chinese companies uh, doing investments and projects and businesses here in Serbia? Um, because the Western media tend to think that um, China has political agendas in mind mm. when it makes inroads into Serbia. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I have to say, the cooperation between China and Serbia in business and investment is uh, fundamentally mutually beneficial. It's not something uh, political, uh, although it benefits hugely from the political environment, political relationship between our two countries. And I think that's the uh, top priority because China and Serbia, we have very good friendship. That's why Chinese companies and Serbian companies would like to cooperate with each other and engage for further cooperation. And uh, the very important initiative of Belt and Road, uh, this was proposed by Chinese President Xi Jinping more than 10 years ago. China and Serbia have started the cooperation. Um, this is uh, on the uh, basis of mutual benefit, mutual interest. Uh, it's not uh, something uh, forced upon each other. Uh, it reflects the complementarity of uh, both countries. As, our, as both uh, friendly countries, uh, it's very natural that uh, Chinese and Serbian companies will work together for further benefit. Uh, so many good examples have showcased that our cooperation have benefited both countries. China uh, plays advantages in the areas of infrastructure, science, biotechnology, and other areas. And you can see the Serbian people have benefited a lot. And Serbia companies also export a lot of uh, agriculture products, uh, wine, uh, and other specialties to China market. Only two months ago, China and Serbia signed the uh, free trade agreement. That's the 29th <coughs> agreement, free trade agreement in the world for China. I believe this shows the uh, very strong will of both countries to enhance our cooperation, and uh, our complementarities can be further developed after the FTA come into effect uh, as quickly as possible. So um, any kind of uh, accusation against the China and the Serbia cooperation is, uh, I believe, is uh, a lack of ground and uh, maybe out of uh, misunderstanding or prejudices. I hope the, those media or uh, commentators they can come to Serbia, uh, they can go to China to talk to Chinese companies, Serbian companies, and the peoples of both countries. Then they will have a very objective conclusion uh, how our cooperation have benefited our two countries and also benefit the larger, uh, the bigger region uh, in Europe, uh, which has set a very good precedent and example for mm. countries uh, of different sizes in, in the areas of cooperation. Ambassador Lee, talking about the Western commentators and reporters, uh, they tend to frame uh, the issue of Serbia's strategic path as an either-or proposition, uh, either joining the EU, um, reuniting with the European family, or forging closer ties with Russia and China. Um, do you agree with that proposition? Uh, Serbia is an independent, a sovereign country. I believe the foreign policy of Serbia is decided by the government and the people of Serbia. Uh, I think uh, China, China's foreign policy with uh, Serbia is based on mutual respect, mutual benefit, and uh, mutual trust. This is not in conflict with any other bilateral relations, uh, which I think uh, we can, in China's philosophy, we can go together uh, well with each other and uh, complement with each other. Look at uh, China's uh, very important initiatives of uh, Belt and Road and uh, the three important initiatives of Global Development Initiative, Global Security Initiative and the Global Civilization Initiative. 
uh, this all point to China's new uh, philosophy of uh, diplomacy. Many Chinese friends had fond memories of the uh, sports celebrities, from Djokovic mm. on the tennis court to mm. uh, Djokovic uh, at NBA to Milot Milodinovic uh, coaching the Chinese men's uh, football team back in the day, uh, all the way to Jankovic, the current head coach of Chinese men's football team, and also the basketball team. Mm. Um, of course, here we talked to a number of Serbians. They have fond memories. Uh, they have very nice things to say about China and the Chinese people. Being here for a couple of months, Ambassador, how do you personally feel about Chinese-Serbian friendship? Uh, I arrived in Serbia only three months ago. Uh, in the last three months, I have been deeply immersed into the friendship of the people of Serbia. Uh, I met with uh, many senior officials of Serbian government, and also I met and talked with the Serbian people. Uh, thank you for mentioning these very famous stars uh, of sports uh, in Serbia. Uh, that's another area of cooperation between China and Serbia. Uh, I think it's kind of uh, uh, inheritance and uh, uh, to the future because our friendship dates back to many years ago and now we are having the new energy of cooperation and friendship. We have a very fond feelings between China and Serbia. Uh, when I was young, I remember uh, the famous movies of Serbia I mentioned and the song are uh, even now very popular. In China, we have a very famous old saying, the relations between countries, uh, the fundamental issue is the people-to-people -people links. Uh, that can decide the future of the bilateral relationship. So I believe we have very deep and fundamental uh, relations of people to people that can make our relations even develop from strength to strength. Thank you so much, Ambassador Li Ming. Thank you for your time. Mm, thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of the Harbon CGTN. I'm Wang Guan from Belgrade, Serbia. I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.